All right, so I am back with some Thursday three pages. Last time in the other video, you saw that I had a big metal tray to sort all kinds of different days. I think it was mostly May and June, and I wound up doing three in the other video three in this video, and then that will wrap up part one of this Thursday three project. And then I can move on to somewhat of a simpler format using a Everyday Explorers notebook. All right, I am gonna switch to voiceover and put together these pages and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so for this one, I have a blue and butterfly color scheme. I found that journaling card in my Coco Daisy stash and I wanted to use that. And then I had ripped out a paper from the Traveler's Notebook. And so I just trimmed off the jagged edge, punched the holes, and I can use that on the right hand side. And my photo will go on that side. Also found another journaling card that says documented and I'm gonna use that behind my photo and I will put the currently on the bottom right. You saw me playing with this butterfly scrap paper. I couldn't find anywhere to put it so I decided to just punch butterflies out of it and that works really well. So I'm gonna punch out the butterflies and then I'm gonna actually stamp some butterflies as well. On this label, I am stamping a little sentiment. I don't remember what it was, but I stamped a little something. And then on this label, I think I put make every day count or something like that, and I just repeated it. And then I'm gonna put that right below the butterfly journaling card. And now I'm just gonna adhere everything down and also the labels and then put the butterflies down and then I will stamp some butterflies as well. I am gonna layer a butterfly sticker uh, right behind the life flare. And then I will add in my butterflies and I try to just get the glue in the middle, like the body of the butterfly because I, I want it to be able to be a little bit dimensional. And then I just use a scrap piece of paper so I can stamp some of the butterflies off the page. And I'm just building like a little, almost I wanna say scene cascading up towards the top and then I'm done. So now I'm gonna move on to the one that is my birthday. And for that one, I just got some white paper and I am gonna use the blacks, the pinks and the greens. I thought that'd be fun for a birthday color scheme. Also found in my Coco Daisy stash some vellum three by four pieces. So I'm gonna use one of those. Also found a cool die cut that says, hello, beautiful. So I thought that that was perfect. Went digging in my Coco Daisy stash. You can see I was digging through some die cuts. Um, I wanted some more pink and some more green. So I found a green piece of paper and then also that pink piece of paper and some more die cuts that match. And I was also able to pull out a bunch of Scrap and Happy Studio flares that'll match great. So I am super excited about this spread. It's very pretty and bold and definitely a special one because it was my birthday. So I used another journaling card, layered a piece of green on the back, and then added in some flares as well. Gonna use that large green piece of paper and then put the pink down, the pink paper, and I also trimmed off a piece of the adhesive on that tag so I could put up at the top because that tag matched perfect. And now I can label in my journal that it was my birthday. Putting the vellum down next has like the top layer and then my photo will go down. And then I'm just adding in the die cuts that I have, the hello beautiful. And then I will um, add in some little heart die cuts that I found switching out um, one of the die cuts, I think, in a minute. Um, and then I have a green die cut that I found. I'm also gonna add in some star enamel dots, and then I will get my Nouveau drops that are black, and I'll add in some of those. I'm not the best at putting down Nouveau drops, but I love adding them, and it is definitely an easier way to have a supply of enamel dots. I'll adhere down the flares later when the Nouveau drops dry. So for this spread, I was out in the backyard and I was actually standing by my lemon tree. So I thought that this orange fruit tree paper kind of worked um, and I thought it'd be fun to use something bold. I'm gonna mat my photo um, on a neutral paper. That way um, it doesn't just blend into the 
orange pattern paper and get kind of lost. Using another journaling card with some of the same like type of colors with the orange and the green, and then I put the currently on top. Also found some die cut, I wanna say that they're moths or something, but maybe they're butterflies in my Coco Daisy stash. And I'm gonna use a bunch of those vellum ones. And I'm also gonna use some green die cuts and one big orange one on the right. And then I found some more of those die cut. They're really small, like heart die cuts that Coco Daisy um, puts in their kits. I'm gonna use some of those and then some enamel dots. I'm gonna sprinkle throughout and then I will be finished with this one. I just need to add in the currently. Okay, so in my intro video, I said that I had three to do and then I would be done with this first volume. And I went looking through and I had one left to do. And so I just wound up doing that one off camera and I will share it with you real quick. I went with neutrals and this is the end of June. So I had lots of fun picking out some neutrals and then adding in some more of the flares that I love to add. So in this process video, you were able to see the last one of May and then my birthday the start of June and then another June one and I loved using this big bold pattern not something I usually do but I love it and then this one was a process video I believe and I will leave that up in the eye but I did this one for Coco Daisy and then this is the neutral one and then one last one so there you go so the next video you guys are going to get to see is a full walkthrough of this album that is from january to the end of june so i hope you enjoyed this process video for these pages i would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel thanks so much for watching have a great day